Hello and welcome to our spring transplanting life. My name is Dasha and I'm the social media manager for Click and Grow. And here with me, I have Miriam, who is the horticulture lead at Click and Grow. So let's give her a warm welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Today we will be doing something very, very exciting, which is starting your summer garden indoors. I think we all agree that during this long and pretty dark and cold winter months, we have all had a lot of fun growing plants indoors, but now is this most exciting time, which is spring, where you can actually start preparing your summer garden indoors. Mm -hmm. And in case you didn't know, a smart garden can be a pretty good tool to help you do just that, right? I couldn't agree with more with you. A small garden line is a perfect device to start your seedlings inside. And if you are blessed with a garden or a balcony, you can regrow the seedlings and plant mm -hmm. them in pots, or in beds, or a greenhouse if you have one. So it's wow. a perfect chance for gardeners to, to have another and put a, your SG9 into good use. So as you see, our team is ahead of you. Wow. A couple of weeks ago, um, some even we started like five or six weeks ago, mm -hmm. we planted our own seeds for testing. And mm -hmm. you know, today we're gonna do some planting with you. We're gonna plant a few pre-grown plants into pots. Wow. Which is exciting. This is something really new for me. It's the first time for you. It's the first time for me. So. That's great. <laughs> Tell me, what is exactly do we have growing here? Well, I will start with the star. Mm -hmm. First, we have been testing indoors a watermelon. A watermelon. It wow. has a beautiful foliage. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also new for us, so we're very excited. Wow. But as you can see, we're growing it in a, in a normal cup mm -hmm. that is a closed plant cup because okay. we're sure that we're going to plant it outdoors mm -hmm. and we want to keep the roots contained inside the block mm -hmm. so it makes the transplanting process much easier. Okay, so basically this is the lesson number one. If you want to keep your plant in the smart garden and keep it growing mm -hmm. there, um, you have to have a different cup but if you are planning to transplant it, yes. it has to be a closed cup. Yes, well, yeah. if you want to continue growing your plants mm -hmm. in a small garden, nine, for example, yeah. then you should choose um, a bro cup, which is perforated. Uh -huh. So it allows the roots to enter the tank and grow widely. Okay. So next plant I'm going to show you is cucumber, and you will definitely see the difference. Are you ready? I am so ready for it. <laughs> so here we have a cucumber growing mm -hmm. in a sealed cup. As you mm -hmm. see, it also has beautiful foliage. It's ready to be planted out. Of course, in Estonia, we're going to wait for a couple of weeks until the water, well, sorry, the weather actually warms up because mm -hmm. the spring here has been quite cold. But could you help me? On the other side, we yeah. have a cucumber growing in a pro cup. So gently, could you okay. just pull it out? Sure. What? And okay. you see the difference, I hope. Look at all these roots. It's the exact same plant, but two different cups. It is the exact the same plant, started at the same time. But what you want to see here are the roots. And this is it what works. you want to see in your plant, in your water tank. So don't be alarmed if you add water and you notice that the tank is full with roots. This is exactly what you want to see. Healthy, pale, white roots. This shows that those roots are really supporting the plant with all the nutrients and water. Mm -hmm. So uh, we planted this one in pro cup. Mm -hmm. because we want to continue growing it in a small garden nine. Right. But also to allow home users to grow those uh, greedy vegetables indoors, mm -hmm. we created a new plant pot as well. So, And you know, this is something new that we have yeah. here as a surprise for you. So exactly to be able to grow fruiting plants indoors, we will be launching the new Grow Anything pot, which is basically this pot, which doesn't have any seeds, so you can try your own seeds. You can try to, to grow cucumber, you can try to grow mm -hmm. watermelon, so basically anything you like. And this new Grow Anything pot has uh, the specific nutrient recipe that supports mm -hmm. the growth of the fruiting plant throughout mm -hmm. its entire life cycle. So mm -hmm. basically, there is enough uh, plant food for it to thrive. So if you want to be among the first ones to know about this lounge, please join our email list and uh, do participate in this live. Please send us your comments and questions, and we will be giving out uh, three packages of those Grow Anything pods to
together with the pro cups so <laughs> you could try to grow cucumbers indoors which is super exciting so there's a prize as well today oh. there is always a prize so it's not only the price of actually growing your own vegetables which is rewarding by itself <laughs> rewarding <laughs> but also to try those awesome products at that's home. great because those pro cups and this new grow anything pod meant for fruiting plants that are greeted mm -hmm. it makes such a good combination yeah. and gives you another angle of indoor gardening it does look uh, like a great result from the combination of the new grow anything yeah product. definitely okay. so what else do we have here um oh we have summer squash summer squash yes it's wow. also right next to the cucumber maybe you can pull it out i can definitely pull it out mm -hmm. so if you want to have an early harvest like um if you want to have early harvest of cucumber you can start it indoors and you can start the main crop much later. Also with summer squash, you can start it indoors. This one already has formed some of the first flower buds here. Uh, well, it's also a great chance to show you these first leaves. What they're okay that to they do with them? They're okay to die back. Mm -hmm. They have already fulfilled their purpose mm. of starting the seed and they die back. So nothing to be alarmed mm -hmm. here. But also it's in a closed, in a closed hub because we okay. want to plant it outdoors. So it will have a very nice compact root system. Mm -hmm. If it's a bit root bound, you can release it. I will show you this a bit later. And it, mm -hmm. it, it will be so happy in fresh soil soon so enough. Nice. But what could we plant today? Perhaps you plant a tomato. I'm I, I have happy a, to do that. I have a pot for you. You can uh, keep this tomato indoors, but you can mm -hmm. place it in a very lit, nice con mm -hmm. um, conditions. Yeah. It still it needs, needs light. a lot of light, yeah. It needs a lot mm -hmm. of light to support the plant. Because they're used to this so pretty rich light that we have here already. <laughs> that is so true. Our plants in our indoor gardens are so spoiled mm -hmm. because of the light. So they're like spoiled babies. But you mm -hmm. can choose this tomato. Mm -hmm. And um, well, since I have a bigger pot, I'm going to replant a sweet pepper. Okay. They're both very greedy plants. Mm -hmm. So... I see. What do we need exactly to replant our plants? Well, we need quite a few things. Okay. We have, we need the pots. Okay. Which um, I got from a charity shop. Perfect. Sustainability and from step one to step. Absolutely. Step. Well, as a gardener, you have to think things through. Absolutely. And I also have an inner pot. You also have one. So you have, um, to you have two, basically. You have. You need this. Well, I'm using mine from the last season. Mm -hmm. Um, what is important to note is that it's perforated. It has holes mm -hmm. at the bottom. Okay. That allows the excess water go down mm -hmm. and uh, improve the conditions for the roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want standing water in your uh, in your okay. in your pot. Yeah. So we need a pot which mm -hmm. has good, which has very good drainage, mm -hmm. because you have to manually water it now. Okay. It's a lot of responsibility because until oh, now, the so garden <laughs> has done all the work for you. Yeah. Uh, we need a uh, potting soil. Mm -hmm. So I also placed one bag of soil Perfect. for you. Is this some kind of special soil or could it be any mm -hmm. soil? Well, as tomato and peppers are both very greedy plants and they mm -hmm. need a lot of food and nutrients throughout the life cycle, I chose a multi purpose gardening soil that is mm -hmm. peat free. Okay, peat free, multi purpose soil. But okay. Whenever you can. Choose a beet free soil. Mm -hmm. It's better for the environment. Okay. So I'm just going to explain what's going to happen next. So we're going to fill this inner pot. Okay. About a bit more than a half. Mm -hmm. Something like yes. that. Yes. Then mm -hmm. we're going to, with our hands, we're going to make a little cavity there. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to release the plant from this uh, plant cup. Okay. If there's any root bound, we're also going to release that. And you also may remove some of the small soil as well. Why mm. we're doing this is that it helps the plant to root in. It's not. Okay. It may feel like harsh if you have to release the root bound because it's like a living thing. Mm -hmm. But trust me, this is what you need to do. You have to. It do has this. to be done. It okay. helps the plant to root in. All right. So I'm gonna remove my accessories because you don't want to lose your absolutely <laughs> rings and. Accessories while planting. Yeah, this is the step when you can actually get your hands a little bit dirty, but this is exactly what gardening is about. It's very in a good way. <laughs> yeah, and 
So, so let's fill the inner okay. pot with soil. Okay. I'm going to pour some of my okay. multi-purpose compost because my pot is very large, so I'm okay. just going <laughs> to pour it here. Mine is a bit smaller, so I'm just mm -hmm. using this little Yes, mm -hmm. your tomato plant also will remain quite small as it is okay. a very dwarf cultivar. Yeah. But okay, also so later we're gonna add some staking. But for, let's go. They, let's do the first let's steps take first. Let's step by step. Yeah. So I poured some of the compost here or dirt, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you a camera. So I'm almost filled the inner pot with my hands. I'm gonna make a small cavity here. Um, I'm just gonna push it against both sides because now I want to put the young plant in here. Could you have a look at mine? Is that the perfect uh, level? Should I add a bit more soil? It's perfect because your tomato will be planted slightly deeper mm -hmm. than it was growing before. Okay. It's the thing with tomato is that it will produce more roots okay. from on the stem mm -hmm. and more roots means that more roots uh, will support the plant with water and mm. nutrients, okay. which means your plant will grow even larger and provide even more yield. Well, with thriving, basically. But with thriving, definitely. Okay. If you're planting any other plants, like mm -hmm. flowers or herbs, it's better when you plant them at the same depth than where they were growing in a, in a okay. small garden. But for tomatoes, you do need to plant yeah. them a bit yeah. deeper. You should also remove two of the lowest two leaves mm -hmm. to make some space. Never bury the leaves under okay. the soil. So, so um, tip for planting a tomato, remove the lower leaves, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I help you with scissors. Please do. We have gardening this scissors here, so you're like a professional, exciting. please. I do feel like I will be able to start like a summer plantation after this master class. Why not? I am so ready for it. So just the two lower leaves, right? Mm -hmm. This okay. is enough. Mm -hmm. And now remove the cup, because we want yes. to see how are the roots doing. Why? Think they are pretty. They're looking oh, good. It's perfect. It's they, not root bound. There are no root bound. Just a little bit of white root. Mm -hmm. You can plant it directly to the exactly. new fresh soil. Okay. And then, if you have placed it in the middle, you have a small mm -hmm. cavity there. You have a small cavity there. Yes. Add some more soil on both sides and slightly press it in. Okay. You have to plant it in. So let's see how my pepper is doing. It feels heavy. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Removing the lid. I love okay, the, the feeling of the soil on my fingers. Uh -huh. See what I found? Yours looks slightly different for sure. So what you're going to see here probably also, uh, well, my pepper is already <laughs> in full flower, so it's really the last minute to mm -hmm. plant it in fresh soil. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use my fingers. I'm gently going to pull the root bound and release it. It may seem harsh. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But it really helps the plant to root in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to remove it, this goes, the rest of it goes to the compost bin. Mm -hmm. And well, I guess I'm going to leave the um, smart soil in one piece because it has a very nice compact root growth here, mm -hmm. which I'm very pleased with. So this is like a critical step for the peppers to remove some root bound. In every plant, if, even mm -hmm. if you're, I don't know, uh, replanting petunias, you have to look at the roots. The okay. roots are even more important, actually, than the upper part of the plant that we okay. see. We should only okay. <laughs> you That's wanna true. you wanna have healthy roots when you it replant. It starts with the roots. So I'm gonna I press see. it in. Oh, Let's I also like that you left some space here because now you have to start watering manually, mm -hmm. and uh, you will add more water at once. So it has. The water has somewhere to go, otherwise it would just pff, disappear. Yeah, so always leave some space. Yeah, but you can add some more Some more dirt. soil. Mm -hmm. I also I need to do the same thing. So so this is the fun part. <laughs> I mean, so far I'm really enjoying it. You're so doing good. Thank you. You're doing so for good. the tomatoes, uh, you're supposed to actually cover it, cover a bit of the stem as well. Only tomatoes, because mm -hmm. it will produce Only more tomatoes. roots and you need good root system it makes it also more thought tolerant if you forget to water it for some funky reason, which okay. you shouldn't. Yes. But it, when it has a better root system, you shouldn't stress about it mm -hmm. that heavily. It really helps you. Okay. And also, your pot is slightly smaller because your cultivar mm -hmm. is very dwarf, which is especially selected. Mm -hmm. And you can leave it indoors. I see. I'm going to take my uh, pepper outdoors 
as okay. soon as the weather improves here in Estonia. Okay. It's been extremely cold this April. Well, tell us, what is the, the perfect or the suitable temperature to actually put your plants outdoors? Mm, I think during the night it should be at least 10 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Which is about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it's, so if it's colder <laughs> than that, then it means that it's going to be harmful for the plant. Well, it also depends on the plant. Peppers mm -hmm. really love warmth. Uh, okay. But there are plants that can take lower temperatures as well. Tomato, sometimes they even, it, it's mm -hmm. not, that it will do well, okay. even if it's less than 10 mm -hmm. degrees. But you have to make sure that the danger of frost is over. Mm -hmm. And when, when, wherever you live in your area, you have to look around what your neighbors are doing. <laughs> if you know that some of your neighbors is a crafty gardener and you see that they're taking their pots out on the balcony or greenhouse, you know that's the right time because okay. you know those people are experienced already. In their it's true. Skills. So basically it's a community that you have it's to... It's definitely a community. It's a great yeah. way to make new friends also. <laughs> We get it. Couldn't agree more. Good. So well done. Have sure. a look. I did plant it. Uh, I made a slightly I? deeper cavity and mm -hmm. I also put some dirt on top and I pressed it. So Yeah, now it needs a couple of weeks to root in. Mm -hmm. But we don't we shouldn't forget to water it in. So the uh -huh. first watering can be heavier than usual because when you water it right after pot, uh, planting the water would take all the soil particles near to the root and mm. compress it together so there wouldn't be any air pockets. Okay. So I'm gonna give you this watering can. So be careful, it's a bit heavy. I am holding it tight. And you have to water it in. Okay. But as you know, there is cavities also and openings mm -hmm. at the bottom. Don't worry, the rest of the water that is excess will go down. Okay. And later the plant can use it up again. So mm -hmm. don't worry about it. It will have evaporate from there. Okay. Maybe so a bit more on this side. You, you see how this dirt also compresses. So yeah. It got, like yeah, disappears. I can see that. So it, it kind it of goes lower and lower and lower and lower. If you feel you need to add a bit more soil, feel free mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you think this one requires a bit more soil? It does. It does. Okay. I see, see how it goes with mine. So basically, after I watered it, the mm -hmm. soil has compressed. You can already see some drainage working. <laughs> it's working. Well, let's add some more soil. I mean, basically, I feel like this is how you learn to garden by experimenting and mm -hmm. learning something new every time. Yes. Especially if you yeah. want to move a bit beyond just indoor growing. Well, gardening is all about experimenting. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And if you're not really sure what you're doing, like you don't know which kind of uh, a substrate to choose to replant your plants or anything, well, mm -hmm. you can always come to see our Click and Grow community online. Uh, yes, I mean, this is the yeah. best part. And we have a large Facebook community group with the gardeners from all over the world. So anytime you feel like you're in trouble or you're not sure about your plants, you're very welcome just to join and put your questions there and you will always get help and answers. And we also have the Gardeners Forum where mm -hmm. our experienced gardeners who actually know everything you want to know about plants and the different types of soils and fertilizers can also help you out. Mm -hmm. So it's, well. it's all about actually community building. Yes, and as I mentioned, tomato and peppers are greedy plants. And now that we have given them more root space, it also means that your plants will grow larger. So if you're not sure if you have to provide more feed to your plants or yeah. if, if you find your first yellow leaf, feel free to post a picture and we can help you out. So exactly. it's no problem at all. It makes us happy to see how you're doing. Technology allows you to basically see uh, and take pictures <laughs> and get help really, really quickly. That's pretty, pretty awesome. So these plants are now done. Yes, right? but you have to do one more thing. Mm -hmm. Your tomato will need some support. support. So for you, uh -huh. we have steaks, a reed steaks that are organic. Wow. You can use them uh, multiple times, but later you can just throw them in compost pile because mm -hmm. they are 100% mm -hmm. bio biodegradable. Great. But And you, you may try, I'm just gonna give you some directions, but you have to push them in. Okay. You want to put support your tomato from both sides from both so sides, okay. and it's good to do it now because if you add your steaks later you may harm the roots mm -hmm. but at this stage you know where you put it you know how you planted it mm -hmm. you're not harming any roots okay so oh good yeah just push yeah. it in i'm pushing it now that you have watered it in it's more dense and mm -hmm. 
uh, the stakes also go where they're supposed to go. Exactly. And now that the plant starts growing, it will nicely support it. Because mm. when the fruits come, they're quite heavy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Hard. I think people who have grown tomatoes, even the dwarf cultivars, might have noticed that already. Might have noticed that. It's a yield, it's a heavy yield. Exactly. Well, my pepper will do just fine. Okay, so for peppers, you don't need any... It depends any on the cultivar you've chosen. Okay. But mine doesn't, because I know it's a dwarf cultivar. It will grow about this tall, mm -hmm. but peppers have a very strong stem, so mm -hmm. they can hold it. So what about the other plants? If you, for example, grow cucumbers or watermelon, mm -hmm. does it require yes, staking Yes, you can provide, well? yeah, definitely. You can provide some staking. There are many staking techniques available. You can mm -hmm. learn from someone else's experience. It also it depends heavily which cultivar you, you chose to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah. that's, that's perfect. Now I'm all set, I think. But I can see that there are like little flowers that are being mm -hmm. developed on the tomato plant. So do you have to repot it before it starts to actually like flower vividly? Oh, yeah, for tomato, actually, it's a perfect time to yeah. pot it when it starts flowering and you see the mm -hmm. first spot, first spot, so it's a perfect time. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's a very strong plant, actually. It's not fragile at all. If, if okay. you don't manage your time very well and you already saw small fruits, it's still okay to plant it. Okay. As long as you plant it slightly deeper than it was growing before, it mm -hmm. will do just fine. It will grow new roots. Okay, perfect. Peppers are a bit more Good sensitive, sadly. Mm -hmm. And we also wanted to remind you that you, if you would like to get a chance to win one of, of those Grow Anything pots to try and grow your own tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers, mm -hmm. do leave your comments below, ask your questions, and uh, get a chance to participate in this giveaway. I think we had a couple of more questions from our growers prior okay. to the live. So basically, now that you have repotted your fruiting plants, how often do you have to water them? Oh, of course. Yes, now you have to water yourself. <laughs> you can't rely yeah. on the garden no anymore. No more smart garden there. Well, as, I'm, as I said, the first watering should be quite heavy because mm -hmm. um, you have to allow it to root in very well. You have yeah. to create perfect conditions. But later you really have to rely on your senses because every condition, every climate, every situation is different for your plant. Mm -hmm. And some plants need more water, like cucumber needs quite a lot of watering. Mm -hmm. Peppers, perhaps not that much. But if you're growing in a pot and you're not sure if I should water it or not, mm -hmm. the first thing what you can do, well, first you see if the plant is thriving. That's a good yeah. sign, always a good sign. Yeah. Next thing that you can do is to slightly lift it and mm -hmm. feel it if it's heavy or not. But at the Mine moment, they're quite, quite heavy. It's quite heavy, I mean, we just watered them. Okay. Yeah, well, it's muscle memory. Now yeah. you know that if it's water, <laughs> it's quite heavy. All okay, right. but if you're still not really sure what to do, mm -hmm. use your finger. Okay, so you actually have I'm to serious. touch it and tap it. Okay. I'm serious. Use your finger. It's the best indicator that you mm. have in your hand and you stick it in uh, like okay. this deep. If you feel it's uh, moist, okay. you don't have to water it. But if you feel like it's really dry, then obviously add some water. Okay. It does feel, you know, a bit different not to be tapping some buttons, but instead <laughs> actually touching the soil. Actually touching the soil, actually well, that, that's the gardening. Soil. It's a real journey. I do like it actually. But as you can see, we made it a pre-growing Mm -hmm. Procedure was so easy, so the rest of it, it's just, True. it's pure joy. I don't think it would have, this tomato wouldn't have looked the same if I were just to throw seeds into the soil. I mean, it's yeah. actually so much easier to start them in the smart mm -hmm. garden and have them ready to be repotted. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty, pretty great and pretty easy, even for beginner gardeners. It is easy. You know, you can get those contained in any size and shape whatever mm -hmm. fits your conditions better mm -hmm. so I got this from the charity shop so great you will place yours on your terrace outdoors uh, yeah in a couple of weeks until mm -hmm. the weather improves it's pretty hectic here in Estonia but mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it in my uh, on my balcony and yes. well it's I, yeah I, I spend time on the balcony every day so I won't forget to water it it's also very well lit mm -hmm. but you're gonna place it indoors yeah, because I would like to keep mine indoors. I can, right? Do you have a decision where you're gonna put it? Like, it, it really needs it a lot of light. It has to be a very sunny spot, right? So on mm -hmm. the window seal somewhere mm -hmm. with a lot of sun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea. It will look so much different in a couple of weeks. I can promise you that. 
I'm super excited to actually see those tomatoes. Um, however, another question I have mm -hmm. is whether, what do you have to do with the plants and the wicks if you keep uh, them inside of the small garden? So if you're actually using the pro cup mm -hmm. with, the, with the holes, do you have to change the wicks? Do you have to do something with the roots or you just basically keep it there? You just keep it there. Mm -hmm. um, as it also, the size and shape of the plant cup. It mm -hmm. keeps the plant very compact, as mm -hmm. the cultivars that are provided from Click and Grow are already chosen to be very dwarf and very okay. compact in size, but you could obviously try out okay. your own seeds. Yeah. But if, um, if you just leave it there, mm -hmm. it has just enough nutrients and plant food inside the pot. Yeah. So in that uh, compressed size, it will mm -hmm. do fine until the end of the life cycle of the plant, so you can yeah. still have the yield. Okay. What you have to do is that you have to add water and later if you All want right. to clean your tank after the cycle is mm -hmm. done, you can do it obviously. Yeah. Uh, but no need to for any liquid fertilizers because we have already all you need inside in this pot. Usually yeah. no, I haven't seen mm -hmm. it. But perhaps if you're trying out some peppers or chilies that really need a long time, like mm -hmm. Carolina Reaper really needs a lot mm -hmm. of time, then you should consult with someone. It may need some extra plant food. Mm -hmm. But this is still like the main difference mm -hmm. between the the previous Grow Anything pot that we still have mm -hmm. is that the new version has even a better nutrient profile mm -hmm. that is exactly suitable for the fruiting plants mm -hmm. to grow them in the smart garden throughout the entire life cycle. That's so true. We had a question here about it. Uh, there is also somebody asking us Katie is asking, do mm -hmm. you replant the herbs in the same way? Are there any major differences between how we mm -hmm. just replanted our fruiting plants and herbs? Planting our herbs is so rewarding. I really would okay. like to encourage people doing this as well. But also nice. you should uh, plant them in about the same depth than they were growing before. Mm -hmm. Such a good idea. Also, so. probably you have to release some root down. Well, it depends when you do the replanting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. but if so you replant herbs, you may also want to trim the upper side of the plant so they could reproduce. But mm -hmm. not every herb is suitable for replanting, like okay. coriander and dill, no, they don't really do better when you replant them. But mm -hmm. basils, for example, rosemary, okay. garden sage, uh, sage um, these are some savory, very aromatic they herbs. They are perfect for replanting, especially for summer. They will really, it will really prolong their growing cycle. That Such a good exciting. idea. I also flowers, seen. petunias, moss uh -huh. rose, even yeah. cornflower. We, I have seen a lot Pansies. of beautiful replanted flowers in mm -hmm. our community, in our group. I mean, it's really amazing how they look on, on your terrace mm -hmm. in the summer months if you replant them in a bigger pot. Yeah, just don't forget to deadhead it. To deadhead remove, yeah, to remove every flower that has flowers. done flowering, definitely. Mm -hmm. If you don't, the plant will start producing seeds and put all of yeah. its energy into growing seeds and stop flowering. So okay. have to you have to use your tools and remove <laughs> all the dead flowers. There are still some things to remember when you're replotting your plants. And is there um, a difference between the timeline? When are you replanting fruiting plants and when you should be replanting herbs and flowers mm -hmm. around the time? Well, if you're really planning to keep your summer garden for a whole summer, it mm -hmm. would make sense to plant them in about a month after you start them. All right. It's more more or less suits all the plant categories mm -hmm. that you just mentioned. Okay, so just about don't, a month. Huh? Yeah, definitely don't let it age in the garden. Mm -hmm. And whenever you take it out of from the from the uh, closed cup, mm -hmm. check the roots. If they're white, mm -hmm. slightly root bound, you can release the root bound. But if okay. you see that the plant pod really has finished its cycle and mm -hmm. the um, roots do not look white at all and mm -hmm. they're slightly soft or anything, um, I don't really encourage uh, replanting them. Though uh, some herbs that have mm -hmm. overgrown and their roots or, uh, don't support the plant anymore, mm -hmm. they make good, very good material to make cuttings. Okay. So you can still use this material I think and plant your garden. I think we still have something to have another life on, how to of course. use your cuttings. <laughs> yeah, why not? Right. That would be exciting. And I think we can take some of few of the last questions. So basically, um, we have uh, John asking, my three basil plants are still growing after 156 days. Are they too old to replant? 
What do you say, Miriam? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> so, <laughs> there is a question about basils. Oh, basil. Uh, John has three basil plants growing after 156 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the question is, are they too old to replant or can they still be done? It depends really on what you see mm. once you take it out of the cup. But that seems a lot of time, 150 days. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very good material for cuttings. So I, I really encourage to make cuttings. You can okay. press them directly to your fresh soil. Mm -hmm. Or you can try to divide the cup somehow. Because it's it, this age really sounds like very overgrown. Okay. Just you have so to try it out. Gardening is all about experimenting. You have to try it. But if you want to be on the safe side, John, you try to use the cuttings from your basil plant. Um, we can also ask you, uh, could you show how to water in the smart garden? I mean, this is the easiest thing. The smart garden has mm -hmm. the tank mm -hmm. that actually holds the water. So all you have to do is basically... Yeah, float is on your side. <laughs> exactly. So we'll show you. If there is a water float. Uh, on the side of your garden that is basically a place where you put the water in so you can also do it uh, through the holes where you had your cups and you basically just add the water until the water float shows that the garden level is full mm -hmm. and unless with your unlike your plants in the pots you don't have to tap it with your finger to check but you always know whether it's full uh, after testing the water float so just add the water directly in this hole. Uh, we also have a question about how to clean the tank before starting new plants. And there was a question about mm -hmm. the wicks as well. Mm -hmm. So imagine we had all these plants repotted. So what would be the next step? Mm -hmm. If I would finish this growing cycle, mm -hmm. I could take all um, seedlings out that were growing in this pro cup that had holes in it. I would just uh, gently open it mm -hmm. and um, wash the tank and then start a new. And you can wash it both uh, by placing the base in the dishwashing machine, it's mm -hmm. dishwashing machine proof, mm -hmm. or you just rinse it with water yeah. and maybe some soap. Yeah. And that's pretty well, much it. Once you open it, you see how the situation is. If you only use mm -hmm. those normal cups, it hardly ever needs cleaning. Yeah. And maybe you just need to replace the wicks every now and then, maybe, maybe once in a year. Twice a year. Yeah, twice a year. Yeah. So it depends. Basically, there is an easy test to know uh, about whether mm -hmm. the wick is working. You told me about <laughs> it earlier. Yeah, you asked me. It's yeah. very easy to check whether you have to change your wicks or not. So you take the new soil that is dry, mm -hmm. you plant it in. If it gets fully moist, less in, uh, in about 40 minutes, it's fine it will support your plant with water. If it takes longer than an hour to mm -hmm. make this soil completely wet, well, you should consider replacing your wicks. Mm -hmm. so, so this is a safe test, very so easy to see. Can yeah. you see it just by looking at it or do you have to tap the edge of the soil to know? You, it just, you, 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 you will know notice. when you see you it because see. <laughs> usually it takes like less than five minutes and the small soil is fully moist, so you will see it. Okay. So once again, the wicks only need changing when you see that uh, the soil is not getting moist after you place the cup in the smart garden. Well, I feel like I got uh, a lot of new information today. Mm -hmm. So basically, I feel like I could come home and feel <laughs> like a proud plant mama who mm -hmm. has just repotted her first tomato. So this is really exciting. Yeah, you did very well. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. And we also would like to start wrapping up here and uh, tell you a big thank you for joining us today. Uh, do uh, sign up for the email list to know mm -hmm. when we will be officially launching the Grow Anything pods. And please, the new Grow Anything pods. New ones, yes. That are yeah. perfect for the fruiting plants. Mm -hmm. And please, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. We will definitely try our very best to answer all of them. And among the people who are actively participating, asking questions, we will be giving out three uh, packs of this Grow Anything plant pods and next week. And the Pro Good Cups as well. So it's a yes. combo. So it's you can have the same kind of uh, garden after just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you very much once thank again. You. It thank so you. Thank you, Miriam. Fun. It was super fun for me and very, very insightful. So now we just have to clean up a little <laughs> bit because it's fine. You know, it's, it's fine. Just it's, a gardening. Dirt. it's gardening. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Exactly. 
So thank you very much for joining once again. Leave your questions and thank you for growing with us. Become a part of our community and uh, experience the joy of growing, reporting mm -hmm. and every other procedure that comes with it. <laughs> See you. Bye.